Hey all, welcome back to episode 16 of my Satisfactory Update 5 playthrough. And I do have to say, considering this is my first time on a complete playthrough of the game, I think we're making fantastic headway. And this episode, we are now diving, diving into our final tier, Tier 8. With Tier 8, we end up with Nuclear Power, Advanced Aluminum Production, Leading Edge Production, and Particle Enrichment. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. We're going to take a quick minute now and just kind of look at each of these four milestones and what's going to be needed for being able to get them completed. Nuclear power. This one here is going to dramatically increase our power capabilities. And what's needed for that is supercomputers, heavy modular frames, copper cabling, and concrete. All of these, uh, well, these three we have manufactured and supercomputers is what we've got to get building here right away. We did unlock those uh, with the last episode with MAM Research. So we got to get that manufacturing line up and running. Next was advanced aluminum production. So advanced aluminum production, we did in the last episode get our radio control units done. We also got our aluminum castings, our ALCAD aluminum sheeting, and of course, we've always had some copper wire kicking around. This is the one I think we're gonna focus on first because every single one of these is an item that we are currently crafting. So this is gonna be really easy for us to be able to turn in. And this, of course, unlocks a number of things. There's a resource well, there's a resource well extractor, there's scanner updates for water wells, scanner updates for oil, crude oil wells, and scanner updates for nitrogen gas wells. And then, of course, we also get like heat sinks, cooling systems, and the fused modular frames. Fused modular frames are going to be really important for other tiers that, uh, tier milestones that we need to be able to get completed. Leading edge production. This is going to require, hey, look, those fused modular frames, as well as supercomputers, and also the steel pipes. Steel pipes, we've got, that's not an issue. If that's getting manufactured, these two components aren't getting built yet. That's something that we've got to dive into. Finally is particle enrichment. And with particle enrichment, we're going to need, it looks like, electromagnetic control rods. We're going to need cooling systems. We're going to need those fused modular frames, as well uh, as turbo motors. Well, as of right now, none of these items are being manufactured. So we're going to seriously need to step up our productions and our different manufacturing lines to be able to get uh, the rest of this all unlocked. And then once that's unlocked, we've got some more elevator upgrades that we need to do. And let's have a look, quick look at what those elevator upgrades are that are our eventual goals once we get tier eight complete. So we come over to our elevator. First things first is we have assembly director system. We need 4,000 of those. And then we've got magnetic field generators. That's another 4,000. And then thermal uh, propulsion rockets. That's another 1,000. And finally, nuclear pasta. And that's another 1,000 items for those. So those are the items we need to unlock phase four of our elevator. And um, of course, with that, once that's unlocked, we've kind of reached end game at that point because unless of course they release update six at some point, um, there is no tiers beyond tier eight for us to dive into. But with this unlocked, if we do get that done, if and when they release tier nine and tier 10, we will have access to those. So let's uh, gather up some items to be able to turn in that first milestone we're working on and um, we'll start advancing in our aluminum production. All right, I went and gathered up the materials needed for our advanced aluminum production. Let's head over to that milestone. Let's select it and start adding in our items. We got our 50 control units are in, our 100 aluminum casing, 200 ALCAD sheeting, and 3,000 copper wire are in and launch away. Milestone reached. 
The object scanner can now find underground wells which can be pressurized to extract resources such as nitrogen, water and oil. Nitrogen will contribute to more advanced aluminum parts. There we go. Now with uh, our more advanced aluminum parts, we've got more manufacturing options available to us as well as if we look at our scanner, let's have a look here at what our scanner options are. We can search for nitrogen gas wells, water wells, and crude oil wells now. So that's gonna make things a little easier for us to be able to track various items for our production. All right, before we dive in to start making some supercomputers, we got a little bit more MAM research that we can take care of uh, before we dive into that. So let's have a look here. First things first is we're gonna go down to our quartz section and we do have our oscillators, our heavy modular frames, and the beacons for being able to turn in radar technology. So we are gonna start that research. That was just a quick little three second research. That's all done. Next is radio signal scanning. That's 50 oscillators, 100 motors, and a 10 more beacons for that one. We'll start that research. That one's gonna take five minutes. And um, the other one that we're going to be able to do once that's completed, I believe is under the Kateria line, and that's going to be our Power Pole Mark III. So we're just going to wait a few minutes while this one research ends up completing, and then we'll step out that other MAM research. So while we're waiting for that MAM research to complete, let's have a look at what we need to be building next. And that's going to be a, the supercomputers that we've got to start diving into. Well, a supercomputer is going to be, that's made from a manufacturer for that. And uh, it requires two computers, two AI limiters, three high-speed controllers, and 28 plastic to make one of those computer systems. And it looks like the production rate on it looks to be about 1.875 per minute on those. So that's the uh, manufacturer that we need to dive into here right away. So let's get started on manufacturing that while we're waiting for some of this research to, uh, to complete for us. All right, so we have slapped together a manufacturer over here and we have it feeding in with AI limiters coming into here. We have plastic coming in. We've got our high speed controllers as well as computer systems. So basically this unit here, it takes 3.75 computers per minute 3.75 AI limiters and 5.625 high speed controllers and 52.5 plastic per minute to be able to make one supercomputer and it works out to about 1.875 supercomputers per minute that we're manufacturing here. So that's got our supercomputer line up and running. Downside is, is we were running into some issues with Basically, and we're still kind of suffering from it just basically off time, but our production lines up here, we're starting to run behind on making the high-speed controllers. These high-speed controllers were getting, like they, they just take a long time to make. So this is making 7.5 high-speed controllers per minute, which is slightly more than what that assembler is needing. But to do that, We've had to mass, we basically overclocked this with two power shards. Our quick wire consumption now is 420 per minute to be able to get quick wire. We're using 75 copper cabling. And then of course our circuit boards are 7.5 per minute. So circuit boards, not worried about them. We have lots of that. That's not a concern for us. Our cabling was a concern and our quick wire was a concern. So what did I do to solve that? Let's have a look at our quick wire assembly over here. So basically I had to overclock our miner over there and we had to overclock each of these smelters so that they're making enough of the product. So we have enough ingots being manufactured now that's being able to handle the load. We then had to also overclock these quick wire manufacturer or the quick wire uh, constructors. So this has been double overclocked with two power shards. This one's got two power shards. This one has three and so does this one. 
And this is getting us to about 540 quick wire per minute. Reason why 540 is we need 420 over there and we need another 100 here. I'm just waiting. Somebody's going to say 420. Uh, Blaze it. Um, but yeah, we needed another 100 here. That's a combined 520. We ended up sucking this absolutely dry, but we fixed that now. And it's been able to accumulate slowly, but it's starting to build up. And then eventually, I have put a smart splitter in here. This will end up dumping down to the awesome sink once this fills up. So that's not a concern there. The other concern was, is I completely ran out of copper cabling. We were pulling our copper cabling from, where is it now? Looking at this, it was from this line here, of which this is already empty. It's still empty because this is feeding all the way over here to make our computers. And I believe it's going somewhere else too. Let me just follow the copper cabling line here. It's coming down this way. Actually, no, all it is is just feeding the computer line. And it looks like it's starting to build up now. So it's basically things are starting to catch up here. This will start backing up and feeding into our line there so that we will start to stockpile in here again. But I had ran this completely dry. So what did I do is I brought in another copper line down here. And this copper line feeds all the way down. This is just from a normal node. So it's 120 items per minute going into four smelters that then gets to convert it into five constructors to make copper wiring. And then these are all coming together into these four constructors to be able to make more cable. And we're now starting to stockpile cable over here, as well as all of this cable now is feeding into being able to make our high speed connectors, as well as this line also feeds over here. Oh, we just died. No, this is recorded. Oh, well, you guys got to see a, a, a workplace accident in full form there. Well, that just kind of sucks. Now we got to run back and get our stuff. All right, I made the run back. I've got my stuff. Now I got to re-equip all this again. I can't believe we just took a dive like that. How dreadful. Um, we want to go with the hover pack on our body. We need our coffee cup. We need our Xeno basher. Uh, what else? I'm going to throw my inhalers in here. And our scanner. There we go. Okay, we got our coffee cup. All things are right in the world. We have all our stuff together. But then, yeah, so the reason why I was coming over here is because we needed the cabling for the crystal oscillators as well, too which was 35 per minute. And then, um, of course, the cabling that was required all the way up here is 75. So that's 105 right there that we needed for being able to do just those two manufacturing lines. So that got us our supercomputers. So the supercomputers are now getting built. I'm just waiting for these to stockpile a little bit. And uh, we've got some more NAM research that we're going to go turn in because that one should be complete now that we just did. Actually, it's been complete for a while. And I just hadn't got over there to turn it in. Let's turn that in. So radio signal scanning is now complete. And I think that's about, nope, we can do the uh, power poles now. So this is a six minute research on this one. That's going to work for a while. But of course, we still need supercomputers and that's a hundred supercomputers combined for those two that we need. We don't quite have those yet, um, but as soon as we do, we'll be able to get that all taken care of. And then I want to think, we've got to be, we got to be close to being done. Quartz is done. Alien organisms, organisms is done. Mycelium is done. Nutrients is done. Power slugs is done. So then the only thing that's left is sulfur to finish off. That's uh, that's good. We're cruising along. All right, let's go see if we've got enough now that we can start turning in some of these milestones. All right, to start off with, uh, we've got enough to get our the milestone done. So let's have a look at our our milestone. We're doing nuclear production. This or nuclear power is what we're unlocking here. 
let's select the milestone and we've got our first 50 supercomputers are in here 200 heavy modular frames in and loaded next is a thousand cable is locked and loaded and then some concrete a couple of thousand concrete oh, oh no we are just shy on the concrete i've got to go gather up some more concrete i'll be right back all right i have gathered a little bit more concrete that is all ready to go launch and that is a nether milestone, milestone now completed uranium scanning unlocked with we the can... provided buildings and parts, you can now set up nuclear power generation, which balances an increase of fuel production complexity with improved power output. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. So Build. there we are. Power generation creates nuclear waste. Are you done? Are you done yakking? All right, that is our second tier that we have completed in this episode so far. So what does that leave? That leaves leading edge production and particle enrichment. But now we've got to start focusing on getting the fused modular frames built. That's going to be the next thing that we're building. But before we dive into that, we're going to get our next little bit of man research done so that we can get that all completed. So bear with while I gather up and kind of wait for some more supercomputers to be built. Since we've been on a roll with getting our MAM research completed, I did want to take the time to come over here and put down a quick assembler, or sorry, yeah, assembler over here. This is going to take our sulfur, and if there's any excess coal over here, it's running through here. I did put an, a, uh, a splitter in here, a smart splitter, that this is priority, it takes its coal from here because it is running down into our little generators that we have sitting there. But if there's any excess, then it's coming into here. And this is now going to be manufacturing our sulfur over here. So we've got, or sorry, our black powder. So we've got um, coal and sulfur and this is not powered up. Because why are you broken? I'm looking at this now. I wonder how long this has been broken. And this doesn't seem to be hooked up to anything either. This is like really bizarre. Oh no, it is hooked up. This one doesn't appear to be. We seem to have been missing a power pole here for quite some time. I'm not entirely sure how much time, but we're going to put that back in line. That's all connected, and then we can come over here, hook up this. Oh, hey, look, this has got power now, and this is going to make our black powder for us, so yay! It's a good thing we decided to come over here and do that, because I'm wondering how long this little iron production line has not been working, and look what else is broken here. I am missing... A copper feed. I must have inadvertently, when I was dealing with some piping over here, I must have inadvertently removed some stuff in here. That's the only thing I can think of for this. All right, well, let's get this all fixed up and then uh, we'll go and continue with our man research. Okay, I do have this fixed now. This is delivering its products properly and then any overflow is going into this one that's feeding into here and then of course providing our black powder construction of which we're starting to get some stockpiled so that is cooking along so that we'll be able to continue through but i know that we've got materials on us right now to go and get some more research done that took a little bit to get that stuff all figured out let's head back to the man power pole mark threes are done Caterium. let us look at this unit here programmable splitter this is going to take eight minutes to research and that's going to take eight minutes so i'm going to start those and then we're just going to basically wait out the timer and then i'll be able to get the geo geothermal generator done and um yeah then the last thing to take care of is sulfur and that's why i decided to get that um black powder line up and running so that we could turn this stuff in 
Okay, the analysis of the programmable splitter is complete. Now we can head back to Caterium and we are selecting the geothermal generator to be able to unlock that. Start that research, that's eight more minutes. So alien organism, 100% done. Caterium will be 100% done. Mycelium, we're good. Nutrients, we're good. Power slugs, we're there. And quartz completed. Then it's just, um, obviously, Fixmas, we're done all of the Fixmas stuff. Then it's sulfur. And there's only six more things in sulfur that we need to take care of. And it looks like there's a couple of three-second ones and a couple of three-minute ones. And then I'm not sure what the last two nodes are going to be. But we should be able to start gathering up some of this stuff to be able to get that taken care of. Okay, so back to the man research. Our geothermal thermal generator is ready to go. That's taken care of. Now we're diving into sulfur. So the first one I'm going to take care of here is it looks like, oh, it's going to have to be either one of the three minute jobs. So let's go with the Nobelisk detonator because that's just industrial encased beams as well as uh, copper cabling and also five scanners. So we're going to select that start researching those and in three minutes those will be done and then we can do the rifle next all right we're back with our next little bit of research the novelist detonator is complete let's head into sulfur and i do have some of the gunpowder i went over and gathered that up so we can take care of the novelist explosives that is now taken care of next is a longer research of three minutes for being able to do the rifle we're going to grab that and start that research and we've unlocked some things what do we got here expanded tool belt that's going to take 130 of the gunpowder and a bunch of industrial encased beams and then inflated pocket dimension we're going to get some more inventory slots that's again more gunpowder which is another 130 uh, gunpowder actually no it's only 50 sorry i was confused this one's 100 uh, this one is 50 and then uh, this one's also got some steel beams in there as well too so and both of those are just quick little three minute researches so we're getting this done tonight we're going to have all of our MAM research complete the only thing left to do will be to go around and gather up hard drives to get some alternate recipes so you know we're really starting to to feel that future end game approaching here as things are ramping up and we're getting all kinds of new technologies it's exciting times all right we got some more man research complete that is the analysis of the rifle is done what is next next is we are going to you know what we are going to take the expanded tool belt let's start that research because we had the black powder to be able to take care of that so now we need that's going to be 170 and we need 220 black powder to get the last two pieces done. Okay, the analysis of the expanded tool belt is now complete. Let's go back to sulfur. We have a quick three second. Oh, I need some steel pipe first. Oh, we're going to go run and get some more steel pipe. We've used it all up and it's because I... I ran over and I took down the Fixmas factory. Since Christmas is over, I stored all of the Fixmas components and stuff that I had, though. Uh, we'll save that for next year when it comes around again. But um, we did dismantle the factory just because, I mean, it was using up a bunch of power and didn't need to keep running. We have got, like, a full uh, single storage chest of extra stars that are kicking around there. So I think, I think we're in good shape there for next year when Fixmas comes around again but now we have the pipe that we need we're just gonna fly over here real quick and sulfur that research is now complete and confirmed this is our final bit of research inflated pocket dimension it's 50 gunpowder and some steel beams that's getting researched three minutes from now and all of our research is 100 percent done everything is taken care of we've done all the research we can now it's just a matter of finishing 
some more of the tier 8 milestones. But I think I might just call it right here for this episode because I think we've got actually a fair amount that's going to end up needing to be done um, for making the fused modular frame. This is going to be like a stepped process to do that. And then, of course, particle enrichment. We've got all kinds of different machinery that we've got to dive into. So I think we'll just tie it up there. And uh, if you guys get a chance, reach down, hit that like button on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter, at TerraceDWDC. With that said, we will see you in the next one. Peace out.